So what we're going to do now, boys and girls, is we're going to go through the alphabet and leave you easy clues to remember which letters what there, which one we're going to go where, no where, how, to which one going to be who. Except it's not going to be in Spanish, though. It's not going to be in Spanish, even though the letters are fundamentally the same, instead of the N-Y and the and we had J. But anyway, so it's going to go thusly. We're going to go back and forth, identifying the letters and what goes with them that go. Ain't it though? Alright. Alright, so let's get this show on the road. Okay. <clears throat> a is for applesauce. Applesauce, okay. And then B is for something that I cannot really say, but apparently it says barnacle. That's a barnacle, Mexico. Go on a boat. Like when you came over on. C is for cauldron. Little Harry Potter's going to jump bore you in. D is for dingo, but it's like it's like a dog, except it isn't. You could have just put dog instead of dingo. Pretty sure it just came from Brooklyn though. Anyway, it's like a dog. It's not domesticated though, because it's going to eat your baby. E is for Ethiopia. Very skinny man, but runs very fast though. F is for Fidel Castro, not to be confused with that very notorious president of Mexico, Felipe Calderón. Same difference. G is for Grub. And the little Korean China thing, I mean lady, behind them which was on the stake. Grubs. H is for Halibut, which is not Halibut, but not, not Haley's butt, but Halibut or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce that. Halibut? <laughs> it's a fish. It's all right. Halibut. I is for Invertebrate. Means it ain't got no spine. Meaning you can pick on it all day long and it ain't gonna say nothing to you. J is for Jelly Beans. Jumping Jelly Beans. That says, Peter Weatherall. Jumping jelly beans. K is for kimchi. Actually, funny story about kimchi, about how Japanese done curve all the ears of a bunch of Koreans and put them in 10,000 kimchi pots and they sent back to Korea. And I think I'm mixing up. Sorry about ears and kimchi pots. Moving on. L is for Lithuania, not to be confused with lithium. M is for marmalade. This is a special blue kind, I'm guessing. It's what Clark Kent done put on his toast every morning to make him fly and be all zippy-like. N is for Neptune. That's it. It's good enough for me. O is for opium, specifically from Afghanistan in this picture. P is for Pokemon, or Pikachu, or Parasites, or Perpendicular. Just go catch them all, that's all you got to say, Mexico. Alright, Q is for Quakers, which you can see a got a lot of oatmeal going on now. R is for... What? Uh, sounded out. Rap. Rapscallion. Rapscallion? Uh, it's called Rapscallion. Oh, I didn't see the I, I didn't see the dot from the Moving I. on, S is for salivary glands. As you can see, you've got the salivary, and then you've got the glands there. Moving on. K is for tickle, and when you get tickled, you go... <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. All right, and the new is for undulate, which this thing is here right here. It's called split toe undulate. Vagabond. No, wait, V is for. Gav I can't talk because I was a vagabond and I didn't get to get to speaking skills. I had to talk anything and beg money off the rest of walking by. W is for wisteria. It's very purple and very big, and very much something I want in my backyard when I'm an old biddy. X is for phantom gum, and even though it says gum, it doesn't look like gum. It looks like cocaine or something. For cocaine. the children, you can't say crack cocaine, Mexico. Gosh. Y is for Yerba Buena. Yerba Buena. Yerba Buena. You got it! Last but not least. Z is for Zweeble. Alan Zweeble. Saturday night la 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 live. Anyway, kiddos, that was the alphabet done for you. By two people that are very much up to date on what the letters mean and what they stand for. And not in Spanish. See. Sí.